In this section, we're going to look at solving inequalities. We first, we're going to review over some things we saw in 0308 and 0310, uh, which is just solving regular linear inequalities. But anytime we're working with inequalities, we're going to solve them for the most part just like they're an equation. But if you're multiplying or dividing, you should multiply or divide both sides by negative. Inequality symbols kind of change directions. So let's take this guy right here. If I ask you to solve 18 plus 7x is greater than or equal to 3x minus 24. This is a nice linear equation. And so we're going to work on getting all the variables to one side and constants on the other. So we need to move the 3x to the left. So if I subtract the 3x, I get 4x. But now I've got to move the 18 to the other side. So it's a minus 18. And I get a negative 42. Notice that even though I've got a negative here, this negative 18, all I'm doing is adding and subtracting on both sides of the equation. That does not change the direction of inequality. So to finish solving this, I divide both sides by 4. But I have to be careful. I've got a negative here. But don't be fooled. Even though that is a negative, I'm not dividing by a negative. I'm dividing by a positive force of so inequality symbol stays the same as x is greater than or equal to. And we just need to reduce this. And this guy reduces to negative 21 over 2. Now, there are a lot of different ways of showing our solution. One is to just write this, but we also want to be able to graph this. Now, if I'm graphing on a number line, there's only one number that I care about. It's not 0. It's the solution that I have right here, which is negative 21 over 2. Now, whenever we graph this, I like to put circles here. And since we are including negative 21 over 2, this guy will be included, so it gets filled in. And x, which represents my solutions, x is greater than, so that means I'm shading, I'm graphing out to the right. So this is what the graph looks like, but I want to make sure I write my answer in interval notation. So the interval notation, if you remember, goes from left to right. I'm starting from negative 21 over 2. I'm going out towards positive infinity. We always use parentheses everywhere unless we have a closed circle. And with a closed circle, we'd use a bracket on that end. Everywhere else, everywhere else would have parentheses. So this is how I would represent this number line and this set of numbers using interval notation.